ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang for another episode of K-Check. Ang K-Check ay para sa magustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Ang tanong, kaya ba ng ating contestants ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season? Ang mga may kaya ng workout na yan aabot hanggang final week of competition at isa sa kanila ang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to at lahat sila ay estudyante ng Rizal Technological University. Unang-una, we have Kirby. Kirby is a business administration student majoring in human resource management. His hobbies are movies, cycling, playing online games, and playing basketball. Maraming time tong isan to. Maraming gagawin. <laughs> Jamis, on the other hand, is taking BS Accountancy and he has YouTube to thank for his improving skills on the guitar. He loves playing OPM songs and R&B. Yumi, on the other hand, is a budding entrepreneur who likes joining student organizations. And May's hobbies are reading books, watching movies, and playing the flute. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Glessy Atienza, of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. Next, we have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry from UP Diliman. And finally, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History, also from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, this is round one. So get ready to buzz in and collect those points. But make sure you wait until you are acknowledged, otherwise you will forfeit that point. Correct answers are 10 points each. Each otherwise you will forfeit that point. Let's begin. Question number one. What common term is given to a transparent tank of water in which fish and other water creatures and plants are kept? Jamis. Aquarium. Aquarium is correct. K check. Question number two. What UAAP team has a blue high-flying mascot they refer to as the King? Yumi. Admo, Ateneo. Admo or Ateneo is correct. K-check. Question number three. In astronomy, what is the second largest planet in our solar system, which is also famous for having three main rings? May. Jupiter. Jupiter is wrong. Yumi. Saturn. Saturn is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. How many minutes are there in two and a half hours? Yumi. 160. 160 is wrong. James. 150. 150 is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What sport is played by Los Angeles Dodgers and the Boston Red Sox? The correct answer is baseball. Question number six. What element, which is the most abundant metal in the human body, has the chemical symbol CA? Kirby. Calcium. Calcium is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. Which island in Indonesia is famous for Kuta, Jinbaran, Kangu, and other beautiful beaches? The correct answer is Bali. Question number eight. In what southern country can you find the cities Auckland, Wellington, and Christchurch? Okay, umabot sa bell. May, what's your answer? Israel. Israel is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is New Zealand. Question number nine. Which among Santa Claus's reindeer had a very shiny nose? 
Kirby. Rudolph. Rudolph is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. In geometry, what is the area of a rectangle in square meters whose dimensions are 6 meters by 8 meters? Yumi. 8. 48 is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. In dentistry, what do you call one or the four hindmost molars in humans which usually appear at about the age of 20? Yumi, what's the answer? Wisdom tooth. Wisdom tooth or wisdom teeth is correct. Okay, check. Sakit yan. Meron na kayo lahat? Wala pa yung iba. Okay. Okay, last question for this round. Question number 12. Usually colored red or rose, what hard and heavy wooded plant is the national tree of the Philippines? May. Nara. Nara is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules. After that round, we have Yumi in the lead with 40 points, followed by Jamis and Kirby, who are tied at 20 points each. And of course, we have May with 10 points. You, Kirby, we want to find out a little more about you. Why did you choose to major in human resource management? Uh, uh, when I was in senior high school, I like to manage people. And somehow, yun yung naging inspiration ko to take the course of human resource management. So, mm. yun lang talaga. Managing people. Oh, oh. Okay. Interesting. Yun naman, from managing people, managing the guitar naman. Okay, si James naman. Ikaw naman, James. Gaano ka na ba katagal nag-aaral ng gitara? Um, almost four years po. And nakatulong ba ang pagpapanood mo ng YouTube para mas ma-develop yung skills mo? Yes po. Yung mga tutorial po nila is mas... Um, pag nagets mo po kasi yung flow ng chords nila, mas na-enhance mo rin po yung pag mag-isa ka na lang po. But you did you take formal lessons before that or purely you are enrolled in the YouTube school Hindi of po. guitar playing? Yung ate ko po marunong mag-guitar, then na-influence niya po ako. So naturoan ka rin ni ate Mincha? Yes po. Okay. Interesting. Well, thank you very much contestants. But for now, we have to get ready because we are going into round two. Sa pagbabalik lang po ng K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Recap muna tayo ng points, leading si Yumi with 40 points. Tied naman with 20 points each, si na Kirby at James. At si May naman ay may 10 points. So ang nagli-lead talaga ngayon si Yumi. Pero tanongin na rin natin siya, why do you like joining student organizations? I like joining organizations since it is my passion po to socialize with other people po. Mm. Are there other organizations that you're a member of in RTU? Yes po. Um, actually po, we are um, a member of a student council po mm -hmm. in our school. And what about other, wala namang ibang mga like in music or drama or... Um, before po, back when I was in high school, I am a member of dance group po. Dance, dance group. Talagang varied ang mga interest. Uh Oo -oh. Speaking of varied, yung next contestant natin si May ay may very interesting instrument na tinutugtog. Flute. So bakit flute ang napili mong instrumento May? Um, actually, natutulong po ako sa church po namin. Um, Nagpo-flute po ako. Sinasabay po namin siya ay yung melody sa violin po and piano. Wow. Very interesting. Oo. Before, nung... Share ko lang. Nung <laughs> <laughs> sudyanta rin kami sa ano, nung high school, pati grade school. Tinuturoan din kami. Recorder yung tawag namin doon. Pero sa'yo, recorder. recorder din. Recorder. Okay. Okay. Pero hindi ka active sa church. Hindi. Magpa-inspire ka sa ah, ating see. mga contestants. <laughs> and now it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure to strategize. At laging tandaan, wait to be called before you answer. Otherwise, you lose your chance to make points. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's begin. Let's begin the second round. Question number one. What constellation or horoscope sign 
is also known as the water bearer. Kirby. Aquarius. Aquarius is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number two in elementary geometry. What adjective describes lines that form a 90 degree angle? Yumi. Right angle. The answer is wrong. The correct answer is perpendicular. Question number three. What Demi Lovato song has a title that can be defined as a very tall building? Walang Demi Lovato fan today. The answer is Skyscraper. Is it familiar now? Yes. Question number four. What is the title of the movie starring Ingrid Bergman that is now a term meaning to manipulate someone by psychological means into questioning their own sanity. It's actually a very popular term now. The correct answer is to gaslight. Question number five. The longest mountain range in the Philippines runs over 500 kilometers from Cagayan down to Quezon in eastern Luzon. What is the name of this range? May. Mount Apo. The answer is wrong. James. Sierra Madre. Sierra Madre is the correct answer. Keche. Question number six. Also called a counting frame, which calculating device, usually made out of wood, consists of a frame holding rods on which a specific number of beads are free to move? Kirby. Abacus. Abacus is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. What Filipino word refers to the spirit of communal unity, work, and cooperation to achieve a particular goal? Kirby. Bayanihan. Bayanihan is the correct answer. And uh, this also is often pictured as a group of people trying to move a nipahat. So, okay, check. Question number eight. What is the name of the Islamic sacred book believed to be the word of God as dictated to Muhammad? Yes, may. Bible. The answer is wrong. Believed to be the word of God as dictated to Muhammad by the archangel Kirby. Quran. Dictated to Muhammad by the Archangel Gabriel, written down in Arabic, is the Quran. The answer is correct. K okay, check. Question number nine. In flag football or American football, what do you call a score worth six points if a player carries the ball across the goal line or catches the ball within the opponent's end zone? Also, when a plane lands on the tarmac, the answer is a touchdown. Question number 10. In music, what do you call the leader of a performing group of a musicians who wields a baton? Yes, May. Major. The answer is wrong. The leader of a performing group of musicians who wields a baton is a conductor. Question number 11. In what Southeast Asian country is the Muslim ethnic minority group Rohingya living in fear in a Buddhist-dominated state? The Rohingya group was in the news several years ago and up to the present, and they live in Myanmar, also known formerly as Burma. Question number 12. What date has been declared in Republic Act 10966 as a special non-working holiday because it is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception? Yes, Yumi. June 12th. The answer is wrong. 
Jam in December 8th. December 8th is the correct answer. December 8th is the date of the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Okay, check. And that also ends our second round. Okay, so let's do a recap of points. Uh, Kirby is leading with 100 points, followed by James with 60 points, Yumi with 20 points, and si May, kaya mo pang habulin yan sa ating last round. Oo, kasi hindi pa tapos po ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan round na dito sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. At this point, ang ating points recap, we have Kirby in the lead with 100 points, followed by Jamis with 60, Yumi with 20, and May with negative 20. Pero meron pa tayong parating na ultimate pagalingan round. That's right. Kaya naman, let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's, let's begin. begin. So let's begin our pagalingan round with Prof. Glessy. Ano ang pambansang dahon ng Pilipinas? Letter A, malunggay. Letter B, ampalaya. Letter C, anahaw. Letter D, kawayan. Letter E, sili. Yumi. A po, malunggay. Wrong answer. Me. Anahaw po, C. The answer is Anahaw. Okay, check. Profiki. In the Earth's atmosphere, a layer shields life from harmful solar radiation. What is the name of this protective layer? A. Troposphere. B. Ozone layer. C. Stratosphere. D. Mesosphere. E. Thermosphere. Kirby. Uh, B. Ozone layer. The ozone layer is a region in the stratosphere that absorbs most of the sun's UV radiation protecting life on Earth. K-check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Vicky, Prof. Lu. For the category World Geography, how many time zones does Australia have? Letter A, three. Letter B, four. Letter C, five. Letter D, six. Letter E, seven. Letter A. Letter A. Australia has three time zones, Eastern, Central, and Western. The correct answer is three. Okay, check. Maraming salamat. Back to Prof. Glessy. Okay, second question ko. Saan matatagpuan ang Cry of Pugadlawin Monument? Letter A, Ateneo de Manila Campus. Letter B, University of the East Campus. Letter C, Loyola Memorial Park. Letter D, UP Campus. And letter E, Palara Filters. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, UP Campus sa harap ng Vincent's Hall. Oh, Math naman tayo. What is the value of 5 factorial? A. 120 B. 60 C. 20 D. 5 E. 15 You mean? A. A. 120 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which is equal to 120. Okay, check. Yun pala ang 5 factorial. Thank you. Prof. Lu? Uh, in Philippine geography, as of 2019, which region is the largest with an area of 29,620.9 square kilometers? Letter A, Cagayan Valley. Letter B, Central Luzon. Letter C, Sox Sargent. Letter D, Bicol Region. Or letter E, Mimaropa. Mm -hmm. 
The region of Mimaropa is composed of the provinces of Misamis, Marinduque, Romblon, and Palawan. The correct answer is Mimaropa. Round three with Prof. Blessing. Oh, sa arts ulit. Sino ang sikat na manggugukit ng comic strip na Slice of Life? Letter A, Larry Sabangan. Letter B, Larry Alcala. Letter C, Larry Dizon. Letter D, Larry Subasta. And letter E, Larry Mariano. Yumi. Larry Mariano po, E. Wrong answer. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Larry Alcala, letter B. Puro Larry naman kasi, Prof. Glassy. Prof. Ricky. Okay, sa physics naman tayo. In the world of electricity, what is the flow of electric charge called? A. Voltage. B. Resistance. C. Current. D. Capacitance. And E. Conductance. Kirby. C. Current. Electric current is the flow of electric charge typically measured in amperes. K. Check. Roughly. A world history naman tayo. This historical events all happened in 1989, except letter A, the opening of the Berlin Wall, letter B, the Velvet Revolution in the Czech Republic, letter C, the dissolution of the Soviet Union, letter D, the Tiananmen Square protest, letter E, the death of Emperor Hirohito. The correct answer is C, the dissolution of the Soviet Union. The dissolution of the USSR resulted in its 15 constituent republics gaining full independence on December 26, 1991. And for our last and final round on the Pagalingan round, okay. Prof. Lessie. Yes, ito alam nyo siguro. Sino ang kilalang babaeng rakista na nagpasikat sa mga awiti tulad ng No Si Balasi, Bonggahan at Tao? Letter A, Kamuning. Letter B, Sampagita. Letter C, Kampupot. Letter D, Santana. And letter E, Kalachuchi. Kirby. Uh, letter B, Sampagita. Correct answer is letter B, Sampagita. Uy, rakista ka, siguro. Okay, <laughs> check. Prof. Ricky. Sa life sciences naman tayo. During protein synthesis, the instructions from DNA are transcribed into RNA. What is the base that pairs with adenine in RNA? A. Thymine. B. Guanine. C. Cytosine. D. Uracil. E. Adenine. The correct answer is letter D. Uracil. In RNA, uracil pairs with adenine during transcription. And for our last question for this round, Prof. Lu. Philippine political history tayo. This is the oldest political party in the Philippines founded in 1907. Letter A, Liberal Party. Letter B, Partido Nacional Progresivo. Letter C, Nacionalista Party. Letter D, Partido Federal. Letter E, Democratic Party. Founded in 1907, the Nacionalista Party or Partido Nacionalista is the oldest political party in both the Philippines and in Southeast Asia. The correct answer is C, Nacionalista Party. And that's it for the K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Kirby, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score 
off 190 points. We'll see Kirby again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. And we'd like to thank the other contestants, James, Yumi, and May. And to our members of the panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lu. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Gia. And I am Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of K-Check. K -check.